Hey, my land peoples. Welcome to another video. Crazy hot boy E here. The E is for Edwin. Got some gameplay coming for you. Uh, we're doing weekend league. As we bombing up to Moss right there, he is activated. So this weekend has kind of been crazy so far. So Series 5 was on Friday. And today, Saturday, Ultimate Legends came out and the market totally crashed. Training was going for 5 coins per. I made a video on there of how to get training when the market crashes, which you can use going forward for all the market crashes. And I also have a video how to um, get player packs for less um, when the market does rebound. So you can pretty much get, get a gold player packs for no coins or 50k coins for 50 of them. So you definitely want to check out those videos if you have time. And if you do like the content, you can go ahead and like and subscribe. Uh, like your favorite video so I know which one you want to see more of and subscribe so you get all the updates. Now as you see here, it's fourth and one. He's going to expect to run to the left. So we're not going to run to the left. We're just going to swing it out to Hartman and get in for a six. Fast forwarding back to him. It's first and ten for him. He has Kyler Murray. He goes ahead and throw it out to Tyreek Hill. Now this guy was decent. He plays a little bit like, I don't know, I would say... Like a bootleg, Allen Iverson. Like he's just fast and go. He wants to get downfield as fast as possible. And he just throws the ball up to me there. We go ahead and knock it down. And Tredavious White gets the interception. As we go on to the next play, we go ahead and pick a play here. First and 10 for us. We're going to come out with this crossing play. We're going to send Moss in motion. Moss goes in motion to take his middle linebacker away from the middle of the field. So that's where we got Hartman at. He just drops right in. And we slide down. Now this play, we go ahead and send A, which is Kittle, on a streak up. So we can go ahead and release him. We don't get the release, though. We just go ahead and take off with Vic. And we run right to the left. Um, we almost pick up the first down. It's going to be second and in inches. Fast forward a little bit. It's third and 15 now. So I, I get in a situation where he stopped me a couple times. And now I'm like, well, what do I do? So I'm going to go ahead and put Moss on the in route, and I try to throw the ball to Moss, and Vic just absolutely overfires it. So we didn't throw the interception, so I'm definitely happy about that. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my three right here and take the lead 10-0 going into the second quarter, end of the second quarter. So easy as that. Playing good so far. Uh, third game of weekend league. We're happy about how we're doing. So this time we're going to go ahead blitz. We get in there, but I think he's going to the running back. So I totally just leave the quarterback alone, and then I come over with Minka Fitzpatrick, and we get the hit on him. Shout out to Sully, fat boy. He was definitely cool. He messaged me after the game. He said, good game. I played like crap. I said, no, nah, man, you did good. Your defense was actually pretty good. Uh, he was a good sport about it. And then right here, my controller kind of freezes, so we have to bring up our pause menu. And that kind of threw me off, but we definitely recover. The announcer said in the game that they wanted pass interference. I'm sure they did, but we locked up right there, and he goes ahead and punts the ball. So now we come back out, 10-0, second quarter, two minutes left. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I finally throw it to A, which would have probably been picked off anyway, but he goes ahead and overfires him, um, which Vix tends to do sometimes. It's not bad, but it can be annoying when somebody's wide open. That time, we just go ahead and dump it off to Dickerson for some quick yards. And this time, I'm looking for RB on the play, but his safety goes ahead and takes that away. So we're going to try to run with it, and Vic gets stripped. So not Vic's best game, but, I mean, we're going to recover because my defense is pretty good. So we do have Warren Sapp, and he gets through right there. I know that's what you're looking for, the Warren Sapp. He, uh, he's an absolute monster, so... I do have Bobby Bell, Brian Erlacher, and then also Lawrence Taylor. But Warren Sapp covering up that middle is absolutely ferocious. So it's 10-0, second quarter. He goes ahead. He has to punt now. So he gets the punt off. And we're just going to let it go, and it bounces backwards, uh, which sucks to him because if that would have bounced the other way, it would have put us at the five-yard line. And now we're going to come out and make him pay even with 53 seconds left. So, as you can see, going to the next play, he's um he's calling audibles. He does have Palomalu, but we go ahead and we streak A again. I love that little streak move. And then we go ahead and throw it to him, and then Kittle just gets loose on him. So, 
he could go all the way. 15, 10, 5, touchdown. And then we step on Bailey to make it worse at the end. Now he comes back. Um, next play, we, we kick the field goal, make it 17-0. He just tries to bomb it up. We have Fitzpatrick there. We have Sherman there. We get the interception. And I'm pretty sure you know what it's going to be. So we go ahead. We have six seconds left. And we're going to pick a play. We're going to pick the dead curl read. So if the middle linebacker, if he clamps down, we're going to go ahead and go over the top. And he's in three-man deep. So I know that's what he's going to do because look how up he is. So I just go ahead and hurry up and throw it, which I kind of cut the video out. Sorry about that. But we got the first down. And we go ahead and kick the field goal. And we're up 20 to 0. Now, Fat Boy still has some heart. So he comes back out the next play, next drive. And we cause the fumble. And now you really know what happens. He goes ahead and quits the game. So moving on to the next game, we'll show you what this player has. Let's see here. Players have conceded. Good game. He has Russell Watkins and Bo Jackson. I actually have Bo Jackson. I don't have Watkins. But I have Brian Urlacher, 98, Minka Fitzpatrick, 98, and Jamal Adams, 98. So my defense is stacked right now. I'm a 97 overall on defense and a 96 on offense. So we go ahead. We kick off to him. And we're just going to let this play through. He has Harmon. So let's see what he does. He looks like he has Moss, or not Moss, um, Deion Sanders. And he gets through right there, but we go ahead and stop him on a 30-yard line. And we're going to come back out, play some defense. Now, this was actually a fun game. So it's going to go quick, but we go ahead. We just bring everybody down. We have our four three deep, and we have our Adams. And Adams just hits the gap, and boom, causes the fumble. And then we just take it to the house with Adams. Uh, I can't show board on that one because that was a user hit stick, and that was a user pickup, and I took it back for six. So, Knight Rice, sorry about that hit, but, yeah, man, I had to do it to you. As we kick the field goal, we get the three, the extra point. So, he comes out here again, and we have Adams over there covering the right side. He tries to throw it. He gets it over my head with Kittle, with Bobby Bell. But I'm not worried about it because I got good defense, and I'm going to show you that good defense right here. So, he rolls out to the right, and I have Sherman. Sherman plays it, 98 overall, picks it off. And that's pretty much going to be the game. As Knight Rice says, forget this, I'm out. So that's the second game. We're now 4-0 in Weekend League, and we just have one more game that we're going to play in this video. Once again, there goes our lineup. And there goes his lineup, 98 Russell Wilson, Tredavious White, and Aaron Donald. Now, this game is going to be absolutely ridiculous, and you're going to see that here. So it's just going to be turnover after turnover after turnover. Uh, this might be the, the most turnovers I've ever played in my life. So, it's Davis Wright. That's me. I get the interception right there. And I come back NFL Moss activated. So, we're going to go ahead and throw it up to Moss. And we get intercepted, which is freaking terrible. So, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Nobody can score. Now, he has to punt the ball because we stopped him. And he goes ahead, and that's turnover. Well, I guess you can't call it a turnover, but I call it a turnover if you punt the ball in Madden and he turns the ball over to us. Now, it's our possession. Two minutes, 37 seconds. It's second and 12. We got negative two yards on first down, and we're going to try to throw the ball over the middle and turnover. So fourth turnover of the game, and it's only been one minute and 30 seconds. Now, it's two minutes left in the game or two minutes into the game, and he rolls out to the right, and he's going to test my user. And Fitzpatrick goes ahead and intercepts the ball. And they make me take go out of bounds for no reason. But, yeah, that's another turnover. Two minutes and five seconds have gone by in the game. Now almost three minutes have gone by. And it's third and 22 for me. And I'm pretty sure you know what's about to happen. So we go ahead and roll out to the right and left. We throw it up. And actually no turnover. But we have to punt the ball. So we punt it to him. So that's just like a turnover. Now, 47 seconds left in the first quarter. He throws a pick, and we get the interception. So, six turnovers in the first quarter. And by the time we get to the second quarter, it's not going to be much better. So, we finally get in scoring range, and we get a field goal. 
I'm not the playing really conservative. Uh, it was honestly just nickel and diamond. Like I, I got him five yards, five yards, five yards, five yards. Definitely not worth watching. So we go ahead and kick off to him, and now he gets the ball with a minute 38 left, and he's going to throw it up, and we're going to stop him for the turnover on fourth and eight. Now we come back out third and 22. It is 45 seconds left. We're going to throw it over the middle, and Moss gets stopped right there. So we have to punt the ball, which is another turnover, and then we come back out, and we go hard, and then Tredavious White jumps up and intercepts him with one hand. So that's another turnover for him. And if you count him, that's about nine turnovers right now in this game. If you don't count the punt, it's six turnovers. But we go ahead and test this user once again, and we throw the interception. So that's ten turnovers. Yeah, that's pretty much how the whole game went. Just turnover, turnover, turnover. No one can do anything. And now he tries to test my user one more time with Fitzpatrick. So that's two picks with Fitz and two picks with Tredavious White. Another turnover. That's 11 interceptions. Now we come out. Uh, instead of nickel and diamond, I thought I was just get five yards. And he lets Dickerson get loose. So he's not activated, but he takes a bad angle at me there with Palomalu. And we get all the way down to the 28-yard line. And then we start nickel and diamond him. And then we just run into the end zone for the seven-yard scramble with Michael Vick. And at that point, he says, forget this. I'm tired of the turnovers. Takashi Jeans, 19. That was definitely nice playing to you. Uh, but good game to you. Sorry I had to do it to you. So, I mean, that's pretty much our weekend league start. I'm not going to finish out all the games just because I'm doing coin methods right now. So, if you can see, we're at 1.9 million coins. We went down from 3 million. Um, but we were slowly bringing our coins back up. But we do have a lot of cards in the binder. So, we're good to go there. At least 1.5 in the binder. So I'm not worried about it there. And as you can see, we're 5-0 on weekend lead, 20 games left. Um, so, yeah, fun video. Thank you for watching. It's been nice talking, and you guys have a great day.